right, and welcome to OSU Institute of Technology. I'm Sable Vasquez, the Director of Prospective Student Services, and today we're going to be bringing you some information about our Allied Health Sciences major. But before we get started, I want to make sure that everyone knows if you have any questions during this live stream, go ahead and type those in the comment section so that we can ask them while we're live. Or if you're catching this after the live stream, go ahead and put your questions in there and we'll make sure that we respond. Also, if you have any friends or family members that you think would be interested in OSUIT's Allied Health Sciences program, please go ahead and tag them and we can reach out to them and get them some more information. So I'm going to go ahead and get us started with Allied Health Sciences. Um, here today, we have two people from the School of Arts, Sciences, and Health. And to start us off, we're first going to have our Dean, Dr. Lisa Weiss. Hello. I'm Dr. Lisa Weiss, and I'm the Dean for the School of Arts, Sciences, and Health, and I'm happy to be able to be here today to talk with you about our Allied Health Sciences degree, an associate's degree that takes two years to complete. What's interesting about Allied Health Sciences is it's a way to get into the medical field. Many people often ask, what is Allied Health Sciences? And it's just that. It's a degree that is designed to support the medical profession for people who are interested in working in healthcare, for people who are interested in working with people. Allied Health is an opportunity to go straight into the workforce or to use that Associate of Science degree to go on for a four-year degree at a four-year institution and earn a bachelor's degree. One of the things that people often ask is, so again, what does it mean to be to get an Allied Health Sciences major. What can I be? And we're going to talk to you about that a little bit. Um, first, I want to share with you a graduate student of OSUIT who is also currently working as our program support strategist to tell you a little bit about the student experience, and then we'll tell you where you can get where you can go once you've received that education at OSUIT. Megan? Hi. Like she said, my name is Megan Williams, and I work as the Program Support Strategist um, for the School of Arts, Sciences, and Health. This is an awesome program. Um, I knew, you know, growing up that I wanted to be a medical doctor. I wanted to pursue my education in science. So I came to OSUIT. I went into Allied Health, graduated with my associate degree, went on, um, got my bachelor's in biology, and then I work as a program support strategist. So it's amazing. I love that I can help students to help guide them down their right educational path so they can achieve their future career. Um, OSUIT is a great school. It provides smaller classes, so you get that more one-on-one -on -one interaction. Also, within our labs, you get more hands-on learning experience. So it is a great program, and we would love to have you come on board. All right, so do anybody have any questions? Yes, we have one about where, will, where can students go to learn more about the career opportunities in Allied Health? Okay, you can go to the Bureau of Labor Statistics online. It will pull up all of the degrees. You'll put in Allied Health and it will show all the professions um, that go along with this degree. Or you can contact us here at OSUIT. Awesome, and then you said it's a transferable degree. So how does that kind of work for students, you know, coming straight in that have never done the program before, or don't really know what to expect? Like, can you kind of lay out how a, being a transfer student going to two different schools, how that works? Definitely, and Dr. I'm gonna hand it over to Dr. Weiss. Let her talk about it with you. Thank you, Megan. I wanted to add, we've also just written some of the different career paths that you can take with an Associates of Science degree. Like Megan said, you can certainly go to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, but if you're interested in any of these areas, Allied Health Sciences may be the place where you want to start. And so what that looks like is if once you've completed high school, completed a high school diploma, or earned your GED, you apply to OSUIT and choose Allied Health Sciences as your degree. Once you're in this degree, it'll take you two years to complete. It's very heavy in science, as Megan explained, so it really builds that foundation that you need if you choose to go on for a bachelor's degree. It also satisfies all the prerequisites that you need. It serves to meet those general ed education requirements, 
that are required across all institutions in Oklahoma. One of the great things about having Megan here on board with us, having had gone through the program, and also I think she forgot to mention that she's a certified EMT, having had that experience. Yes, and a radiographer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she, so she moved from the biology to radiography and then to um, EMT? Um, yeah, and so, yep, I did all of those professions. Um, and it has really helped with this position. And so just like these professions here, there's also education. And so that has really gave me the knowledge and the background so I can guide our students. Awesome, so we have another question that kind of tags along with what you're talking about. Is there a benefit to actually finishing your degree for transfer rather than just taking some credits and then transferring straight to your bachelor? The wonderful thing about finishing the degree is that you have that credential. You can go into the workforce with the Associate of Science or you have that choice to go on for a bachelor's degree. In completing the program before going on to a four-year institution, all institutions in Oklahoma accept our associate's degree as meeting the general education requirements. Should you choose to go on to a four-year institution prior to completing the full degree, the institution that's accepting you may choose which general education requirements that they want to apply to your transcript. So it's in your best interest to complete the degree so that your 60 hours are accepted at the transferring institution. Awesome. And I'm just gonna tag off on Dr. Lisa's. Um, that was incredible. Also, and if you go into radiography, sonography, um, even nursing, if you have the Allied Health Science program, if you have the 60 hour credits, they go on a point system. And so if you have that associate degree, you automatically get 50 points when you apply. And one of the things that Megan's done for us, having come on board, having completed this degree, is she's taken it and she's mapped it to universities in Oklahoma. So our Allied Health Science degree maps, I believe we've done it to at least six different universities. And from those six different universities looked at, with our Allied Health Sciences degree, what is the bachelor's degree that this would be the prerequisite for in which we could go further? And all those maps are available for Megan. Um, I think we're gonna do what we can to get them on our website. So once you're interested in Allied Health Sciences, Megan can walk you through what that looks like if you wanna stay and complete your bachelor's degree in Oklahoma. Awesome, so is it, um, how do students start? Like if they decide that they wanna do Allied Health, what's their first step? And then does OSUIT accept Oklahoma's promise? Yes, um, so you can come visit with me. We are also doing Zoom right now. Um, we have different, all types of different communication. You can contact me, my name is on our website, um, my email, my phone number, anything that you would like, and I can get you through that process. So we would love to have you. Also, we do offer Oklahoma's Promise. Um, we offer OLAP, FAFSA, scholarships. There's many opportunities that you can get and take to come and join and be a cowboy. Is there any uh, last thing that you guys want to add before we wrap up? One of the things I wanna add is Allied Health Sciences is very science-based. So you come to OSUIT, you're looking and you say, I really wanna be in the healthcare profession. And then you've gone through a few of the classes and you say, well, I'd really like to change my degrees. The general education requirements for Allied Health Science are the same general education requirements for other Associates of Science degrees. So if you choose to change your major, then you're not gonna lose any of those general education credits. They will transfer to all other Associates of Science degrees. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you, Dr. Weiss. Thank you, Megan, so much for that information and for telling us about your experience. Um, as always, if you guys have any questions and you didn't catch us while we're live, go ahead and put them in the comment section. If you wanna get some advisement about Allied Health or about how the program works here at OSUIT, let us know and we can get you in touch with Megan so she can go over that information with you. It's always free to apply for admissions. You just go to osuit.edu slash apply, fill out the application, you'll get your acceptance letter in less than a week. Um, we'll get that out to you. So um, as always, please make sure you like the Friends of Pete on Facebook and Instagram so you get notifications when we go live. We do have more live program tours coming up. And as always, uh, be true to you and go Pokes!